Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm Chong Heng Fong. And I'm Haven Liu. And we are the, the Three Lions, Lions from SM Sung Siu, Sandakan Sabah. I live nearby a farmer who goes by the name of Papa John. He waters his crops using sprinklers. Every day, he takes more than half an hour to water each patch of his crops under his supervision. I've always questioned myself if he was overwatering. I'm not sure if you noticed, but 70% of the use of water globally comes from the farming industry and wastage plays a part in that. And we just might have the solution for it. We went to Papa John's farm to observe how he carries out agriculture. We tried a few different types of irrigation, including a subsurface root drip irrigation and mist irrigation. But farmers in Sanakan still prefer the sprinkler as it is cheaper and easily maintained. As you can see, we have used two moisture sensors to determine the moisture of patches A and B. And then here, we have specially 3D printed a two-way valve that works together with a servo motor to direct water to specific patches depending on which is moist and which is dry. If both is wet, the servo motor will not rotate but the water pump will stop instead. This is done to prevent overwatering. The moisture sensors will determine the moisture level of patch A and B, and the servo motor attached to the 3D printed two-way valve will determine the direction water will be pumped to. If the moisture sensor detects that the soil is moist, the servo motor will rotate and direct water towards dry patches. So here, patch A is moist and patch B is dry. The servo motor will rotate and prevent water flow to patch A and water will only be pumped to patch B which is dry. Whereas, when patch A is dry and patch B is moist, The water pump towards patch B will be blocked and only patch A will be watered. Therefore, selective watering is carried out to ensure the moisture of each patch of soil is at optimum level. To further enhance its accuracy, we have made a mobile app that shows the moisture of each patch of soil and can even alter the type of plant that is in the patch, changing the water supply to prevent overwatering. But there is more. Here, we have used a real-time clock to determine the time. We have set it to stop watering from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to prevent loss of water through evaporation. Let's not forget, we applied an ultrasonic sensor to determine the amount of water in the rain collection tank so that it can automatically refill when it is below 25%. Our prototype has largely evolved from day one with various types of theories, 3D prints, and systems. And the prototype here is the result of months of trial and error. Everything that we learned years before this has been implemented. We each played our part during the lockdown period and built our prototype. As for our future development, we try to use radio transmitters to send information wirelessly. A proper networking system could expand our system by 62,500 hectares wide. We are still planning to implement other irrigation methods and a better design of our 3D print to increase the number of outputs. We are still planning on applying solar panels as the source of power for our prototype. We're the Three Lions and I hope this video is informative. We hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.